start the session with the, the startups. Uh, the first one, and we had before some e-mobility topics, uh, e-scooter. Um, we continue now this, you may dream of a Tesla, but I have something better than the Tesla. It's the electric helicopter. And Alexander Zosel will present us his company, eVolo, and their technology and product. Hello, thank you. Um, first, I want to thank the Climate Kick for giving us an uh, incubation. Um, and also, I was last year with Zian in the US trip with Climate Kick. It was really a pleasure. So I'm CEO of Evolo. My name is Alexander Sosel. And we invented the green helicopter of the future. First, I talk about our team. Our team is, uh, meanwhile, a really big team. Meanwhile, we about 60 people work on the project. And that are not the people only of our company. It's our partner network, uh, research partner, industrial partners. And also, we work together with legal authorities. This is our, the three inventors of the Volocopters. So we are three or four founder of Evolo, and we invented the first take, um, uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, uh, all electric. These are our partners in this moment uh, who are working on the project. That have we done in 2011. That was the first flight manned with a, um, it's a, Proof of concept, it's not a real aircraft, but this uh, video of that first flight goes around the world. We have more than six million clicks on YouTube on that video today. There are lots of copy also, and uh, we had more than 200 TV reports around the world, uh, real, real hard and big media coverage over the world, and we won 2012 the Lindbergh Prize, the Charles Lindbergh Foundation. It's the biggest prize in aviation. This is uh, from last month. We had media coverage every week. And this is uh, only a German example. Also, the German politics are interested in our project and visited, visited us. And we can present um, what we are doing. OK, and this is a, a, a short video from our two-seater. That's a product we are producing now in this moment. Um, this aircraft is ready assembled in the next six weeks, so we can start with our first tests. And also, uh, it's not only assembled, we have also done all the certification tests for that aircraft, so we get a first uh, certification for that. So we can fly over cities uh, this year uh, with that aircraft. This, you see it from the top. It's uh, 18 rotors, all electric, so we have just no mechanics. It's brushless e-motors. And one rotor has 1 meter 80. So it's really big. It's 10 meters square, the rotor array. That was in April. You see a mock-up of our aircraft. Uh, we presented at the, at the fair in April. What is the advantage of the aircraft? Um, it will be easy to use. So you can fly it with a joystick. You just need no skills, because the aircraft flies by himself. You have only to say where to go. Uh, it's simple and reliable. And for them, it's, uh, uh, it's much brighter than a helicopter, and it will be really affordable. Uh, the market, uh, a big market is a dream of flying. Uh, it's a multi-billion market. It could be uh, doing with a one-seater for everybody. And the first market we go now, it's uh, sports piloting. It's a uh, thousand of units. What applications we have, uh, first, a big toy for everybody. There's no license used. Uh, uh, needed in USA, so we could sell one seat in this moment. The second is air sports. We realize it now in Germany, and there are not, uh, lots of other applications. The legal basis in Germany is already done because we are setting uh, with the regulations together uh, a new category of aircraft. It's ready in 2050, so you can have your pilot license for that 2050-2016. We'll start to produce this year, we have produced one prototype. It's just ready. Next year, uh, we will produce two other prototypes with serial hybrids. The first is only with battery. And in 2015, we uh, do the first small series. And these 10 uh, aircrafts are for flight schools. We have some flight schools that want to buy it. So uh, the step for the next three years is already planned. So we know that we can do that. You see uh, some pictures from the production. Then we have uh, a vision 
for the next market, it's a one-seater, but we can use it also as a large UAV, so you can uh, put off the seat and could put in technical stuff to have a drone. We want to produce this uh, a first prototype in 2015, and next year we want to start to plan the aircraft, and this will be a really big market in the US states, uh, a big toy for everybody and a drone. So we are funded from, uh, the, we have got a big grant from the government, we got uh, a little money, money from the climate kick, we have uh, um, seed capital from the founders, and we will have a now a new uh, crowdfunding round uh, uh, in this year, and another public funding round of two million, and we need, we see us looking for capital in 2000, 15 of 10 million dollars to go on the American market. We have also a lot of patents, IPs uh, um, filed in. And I'm over 30 seconds, over the five minutes, so thank you very much. Thank you. Maybe one, two questions. What do I do when I run out of battery if it's an electric volocopter? Um, when you run over battery, uh, the system say land, 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 and you have already <laughs> enough battery, uh, for sure. And also we can do an automatic landing. If you don't land, it can automatic land. But this is not allowed from the regularity. So we have also backup parachute ballistic. So you, if there's no energy anymore, you put on a or you okay. pull, then you go the parachute out, and the whole aircraft goes down with you safe. Okay. You said safe, um, and you briefly mentioned the regula regulatory environment. Yeah. How high and challenging are for you as a startup safety requirements or liabilities? How do uh, you handle that? Uh, this is really a hard, uh, it was a really hard task. So uh, to, to get the authority to work together with you, and after we had the authorities behind us, they say, okay, you get a, your aircraft category, uh, we make the building uh, regulation, for example, with you together, then we had a chance to talk to another industrial partners who are working in certification processes. They say, okay, you forget the aircraft uh, category, we help you, and we work with you in the project to get, help you to get the certification. So there are 15 industrial partners, and of them, there are lots of have certification for aviation, and they go also with their own money in the project to, to okay. be a deliverer for the later stages. And along those lines, uh, how's about selling uh, the product? Can you sell directly? Do you need strong sales channels? Now we don't need a strong sales channel for the first step, because the first step is a, a, not a big market with the spots piloting. So if you have 100 aircraft in a year, it's, it's, a, big it's a big thing for Autolite. And we have uh, some flight schools, they want to buy the first 10, and they will multiplicate that for the German market. Uh, in the US states for the, for the one-seater and for the UAV, we need a strong development, uh, a strong um, distribution net. So okay. we are looking for a strong venture capitalist or capitalist to go with us that way and who makes for us the, uh, the distribution and, and, and that. Mm -hmm.